Hey guys, uh, some of you uh, asked me to do a video of uh, the X drive on how stable it is at 1.8 amps. Um, I'm going to do this video for you. Uh, the request was with uh, two 16 340s from uh, Silvershot. I'm using a Jib 77 3 amp test load set to four diodes for the load. Uh, 2000 uh, millivolts on my multimeter uh, that transfers to milliamps um, and I'm gonna slowly ramp up the current current from uh, around one uh, one amp up to 1.8 amps okay all right I'm gonna slowly start ramping up the current That went the right way. Once I get to 1.8 amps, I'd rather go a little bit higher than 1.8 amps. Let's leave it at a little higher than 1.8 amps. So, the X drive is right here. There's two 16 340s and my test load. It's pretty, pretty rock solid, only uh, fluctuates about 5 or 6 milliamps either way. Uh, the driver is not heat synced um, just like I said in the thread uh, the driver does not need heat syncing uh, at all uh, however heat syncing uh, can't hurt so you can always heat sync the driver for uh, for f just to keep it uh, cooler but it's not required think you uh, get the idea it's a uh, pretty pretty stable at 1.8 amps or a little higher than 1.8 amps so okay I'll plug it I'm going to show you that the driver is not heat synced you can see that the driver is not heat synced okay. Okay, the driver is uh, pretty not pretty warm hot. It's not you know extremely extremely hot where you can't hold it. You can see that I'm holding it completely fine, and I'll hold it pretty tight for a little bit so you can see that it's it is warm hot, but it's not burning hot like uh, on a linear LM style driver uh, that would be burning up and needs heat sinking uh, for like a LM317 running at 1.5 amps for example you know you need heat sinking for a type of driver like that okay um, batteries are uh, slightly barely warm um, these are cheap ultra fire uh, 16 340s, uh, 1000 milliamps, which we all know that they are not 1000 milliamps. Um, but 
you can see that it's uh, was pretty stable. All right, all right, thanks guys.